Hey gang, welcome back to the slightly smaller than big board or larger than small board. But we're here and as I promised, I uh, would keep you up to date on all of the latest things that come out of Lock and Lock Publishing as they emerge from their traumas and their change. And I was uh, just sent these two titles, so Rommel, Rommel and Ghazala, you're probably well aware that, that is now uh, in print and available, and Torton's, Torton's Targ as well is out. Now, I do not know very much about these titles at all. And the primary purpose of us having a look at these things is to A, pique my interest enough to have me actually punch them and play them, sooner rather than later and B make sure that everything is printed all nicely and uh, formatted correctly and the counters are good and the rules are good and all that sort of stuff uh, clearly because I don't know the games I can't necessarily tell you if there were uh, errors on one sheet or another or one uh, tech chart or any of that sort of stuff we can just have a look at what you know judge by what we see so I'm going to try and do this fairly quickly I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the actual uh, you know, game and all the rest of it, we're just going to look at the quality of the print. And that's the fundamental problem that we've that has played Lock and Load in the past. And we recently saw, uh, and now I've forgotten what it was, <laughs> Dawn's Early Light reprint, right? With the expansion included in it. And we saw how fantastic that was. So let's see if this is the same and we'll, we'll kind of uh, get at it from there. Uh, this is, this, Battle Gazala, I think. Oh, let's just have a look at it and then we'll talk about it. Okay. So the box is once again a nice, very, this is, these are really sturdy, strong, I would say strong boxes as opposed to some of the less robust. So the GMT boxes are actually, while they look nice, they warp very easily and they also uh, are much softer. So for instance, I've got a, Here's the unconditional surrender box. It's really flexy, you know, and and softer uh, to the to the touch. And this is really robust and strong. So that's interesting. And that's just an observation. It doesn't matter one way or the other. Color rule book again. Yes. So there's a color rule book. How is the scale here? Two days per turn and three mile hexes. Yeah. See, I just played a battle of Kazala uh, scenario for the chronological walkthrough so it comes with two maps that we're going to need to put together so it looks similar to the format of Dawn's Early Lights with the large icons on the map I'm guessing this is going to go like this nice these are I wish I knew my paperweights better, but it's certainly thicker and heavier than the GMT paper map. I use them as a reference point, so you probably all know what those maps, maps feel like. I would say these feel more like a sturdy cardboard map, but they're not heavy. As you can see, they have quite a bit of flex in them, right? And a small, a small footprint for this particular game you can see all the counters here. They all would appear to be well registered and in alignment. And I'm guessing these guys might have uh, side nibs on them. Yep. Yeah, you're going to get a little side nib there, but that's... Oh, oh, I don't know if you can notice this in the dark. It's kind of dark in this room. Sorry, good dudes and ladies. Can see that there. You can barely, like, like I said, you can barely see that. So that's not going to bother you in gameplay. These are really nice. They're decent thickness too. And they feel good in your hand. And here's the other thing I noticed. You can actually pop these back in there. Not that you would do that. You would need to be incredibly OCD to do that. Yeah, and these pop out pretty nice. So it looks that all looks really good. There's the back of the backs of the backs of the counters. How many pages of rules are we talking about? And I wonder if there's anything specific and unique. This is a pretty interesting battle. So I'm wondering if 
Got some special unit abilities up on the right hand side here. And we're out of focus again. Air power rules. Overruns. If it deals with the mines. Stuff like that. I don't really know. Like I said, I haven't read the haven't read the rule books. Oh well. That's pretty cool artwork, isn't it? Tank on tank, east front. Advertising. Yeah, I'll have to play it to let you know what the deal is. And I'll actually try and get to this pretty quickly because it looks like it might be a pretty fast player. It's only about eight, eight or 10 pages of rules. And I'm going to assume then that Tottenstag is in the same vein. Which I'll do this. We're in the five minutes right now. I'll try and get this done real quick for you. So once again, it's another uh, Af African desert battle. Nice box. These are really nice boxes. <clears throat> this has a stiffer cover on the, the rule book, but less pages. This is five pages of rules. Hmm. This is probably a good introductory game. Well, we're now it's impulse based by the looks of it. So we're just going to have to check this out. Uh, what is this in here? Community and support. Okay. It's one thing I didn't notice in the other. I didn't notice in the in the Rommel book was uh, a chart for these, but this looks uh, takes you through a turn phases, phase one, phase two, movement, assault, overruns, artillery barges, and uh, how to how do you, how to uh, do artillery by the looks of it and some other bits and pieces really nice big information sections and here's the map a couple of honking big dice well, this is actually kind of a cool map when you see this I think you're I think you're gonna like if you see this in person I think you'll like it it's pretty slick looking Let's see if we can get a better view of that. Kind of old photographs inside these circles, which are city, town locations, turn track on the side, tech on the side, counters are the same. And they all look really good too. They actually look great. So well done. And I assume this is either going to be disrupted or reduced by the looks of it. <clears throat> all right, so there you go. So that's the, uh, can, that's three out of three for the lock and load guys. So they are on a roll, people. Now we just need to see Heroes of the Pacific. And all sins will be forgiven. Wonderful. Well, these both look like very interesting uh, titles. I'm pretty uh, interested to try and get stuck into them. And, and two different systems, potentially. I, like I said, I don't know enough about them to, to talk to them, but it probably won't take me long to have a quick look at them. I may even take them over to the game, game club and see if we can't get them played uh, as a group and get them both played in the same night. The complexity is down fairly low and solitaire rating is relatively high for both of these. All right, we'll talk to you later, guys. There you go.